Good morning. I just want to make a uh, quick or afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. I just want to make a video about um, the thought processes behind today's uh, choice of uh, trades. Now, as you know, I like to take uh, a pre seven o'clock uh, trade, which is when the Frankfurt boys get to work. And um, the reason behind this is because I don't want to be involved in the stupid volatility of the uh, the big boys games. So um, what I did, I approached all my charts. I like to be on the five minute chart. I like to be using the five minute trend. So in this case, what do we know uh, categorically about this uh, this chart in front of us? Well, we've got, uh, I've put a couple of MAs on here. This is the uh, the 12 linear weighted and this is the 50 linear weighted you can put whatever you want uh, between sort of 40 and uh, and 20 something like that either of these they both represent a similar let's put the 40 on there situation all you're trying to do is find the trend you know it, you don't have to drill down and you know uh, explode your chart to find out what uh, where it crossed and what's above what and so on and so forth. You can clearly see the trend is up. Even at this point, uh, we knew all that was happening here is a pullback against this monster uptrend here. Um, as you can see, the trend is up. So I didn't want to be going short in this instance. Uh, this just shows you the crossover of the moving averages. Um, and um, it tells me when they've crossed, basically. That's simple as that. So um, I was looking for longs. No other reason, uh, no reason whatsoever to look for a cheeky short here. There was no clear distance between here. We're into there's a resistance here, resistance here that would act as support, as we can clearly see it has been doing. So it's just a common sense trade, really. Wait for the indicators to show you what's going on. Well, you know these CCI indicators from previous videos I use uh, to give me a gauge of what's going on. That's the cup forming there, as you can see. Um, we've got the uh, oversold um, indicator here, telling us we've crossed over the 100 uh, mark. And uh, I changed to pink just for a little change. I like a bit of pink once in a while. And um, here we can see we've got the crossover on the arrow there. Massively, massively strong uh, indicator to the north side. Uh, as I say, we've had the oversold here. And we, in this situation, actually went long <coughs> based on um, this pushing north. Both of that, the the arrow and uh, the cup forming. I wasn't in any rush to uh, enter this long trade um, based on sort of this early candle here or whatever. I wanted to wait for the um, the crossover. Uh, because I like to give myself a sort of set of rules apart from the, the breaks of support and resistance based on the candlesticks I also like to add uh, never trade against let's say for example that indicator until we get a new one uh, never trade uh, until we get a higher um, bar here on the CCI never trade uh, until I've got uh, for example a green bar on here but they all must tick so if I've got a green bar there with no arrow it's no go if I've got a green bar here and no stronger bar there it's no go if I've got a stronger bar here and I'm not green here it's no go so everything has to be a simple simple thing three tick boxes as my MA is crossed against the previous MA cross down yes have uh, am I green here yes Am I above uh, zero, meaning the zero line here, in other words, green? And uh, am I, um, it, for a long this is, of course, am I um, uh, uh, increasing the, the uh, value of the bar? Yes. But am I before seven o'clock? Yes. Go for it. And are the MAs there? So you could say there's five, five, but uh, before seven o'clock was obvious because I got up at six and... Uh, the MA as well, we talked about that right at the start. That's it, straightforward, using common sense to take uh, the trade in the direction of price. As you can see now, they're playing games. They could have hit a uh, higher time frame level of support, used it as resistance here, which is causing the, uh, uh, the push down. They could have hit a higher time frame level of res resistance that is holding, 
There's so many reasons not to be considering trading when the big boys are up to their games. Okay, thanks for watching.